if I look what I have, um, except for the little pieces. So what I do have is, I have this, this is what I have left. Okay, so when I look at this, then I only have the green one and the flower one that fits on the complete page. Well, I am gonna make two pockets. Oh, and I still have a nice black one, so that's a nice for the background. That's good. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I don't need a complete pocket. I'm gonna make two pockets at the front and at the back, I think. Let me first do the front. But I want two pieces that, and I think I'm gonna use the blue one because I did not use that much blue. So I'm gonna add, let me first cut the strip of the blue one. <laughs> okay. Let, oh, and the back is, oh, the back is yellow. Nope, we're gonna use the blue one. <laughs> Let's see if I can make this nice, complete. Let's strip this down just a bit. Doesn't have to be that, uh, we still can use that blue one. Okay, so this is a nice strip that I like to use. I'm gonna do that again. Again, a nice blue strip. And something. Yeah, okay. That is what I first go to start with. Let's start from the bottom till here. Um, this one is the same size. Okay. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use these as to minimalize <laughs> Oops. Come here, you little story. Oh, by the way, I had a wonderful time today when my my mom and my stepdad and my parents-in-law came and had that wonderful, delicious cake or pie or whatever word you are used to use that. So I'm gonna add this nicely against that opening on the spine so it won't get in the way. You don't have to be that large of a pocket. That's way too large. And one at here. Yes. Okay, now I'm gonna make a pocket. And let's see, do we want I do like it a little wider, a little more, this is way too short. I need another page, and yep, this is too short, so I have to go on a long way. How deep do we want that pocket? And how deep? I do like it a little deeper. So let's say a 1.8 deeper than normal. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to cut my paper at, mm, well, not too low. I want this, how deep is that? 
Well, that depends also on the paper. Oops, the paper that I have. Wait just a second. Wait just a second. Okay, that depends which paper is going to fit. The wet one and the flower one and the black and white one. I'm going to use a black background. So I did use that red one. Um, that red one has this one on the bottom. Hmm. Flowers, flowers. What do you have? The flowers also wet. I think we are going to use Humpty Dumpty. What do you think? Is that not too busy with the blue one? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, can, I can use this one. Uh, I know some people of you do have other sheets. Yes, 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 yes. Well, and the flowers are also nice. Why not? Mm -hmm. That is busy. Busy, busy, busy. I'm addicted. I know. I am. I am really addicted. <laughs> but I'm going to use this one. Okay. Um, I am going to make this three and a half. Yeah, that's wide enough. I'm going to cut this three and a half. Oh, yeah. I'll grab my basket back. And the first one is going to be folded and then I am gonna make another fold because I want this just a little deeper I want this to work just a little deeper want a better pocket okay now I'm gonna add also on the bottom a hinge I do not know if that is necessary but I think and of course that one eight extra okay now the first thing that I'm gonna cut out is till the inside and before I am gonna fold it I'm gonna measure which size I am gonna need it for the next fold line oopsie and we make that fold line at that mark and one eight extra and then we can cut this down. Here we go. Cut that corner away. Here we go. And now we can fold it. Now I'm gonna move this for just a second. All that glue. Glue, 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 glue. Now, let's see. Use your fingers to fold that extra fold line. Yep, that's nice. And then I do the last or biggest one. So it's nice when you have a thicker, deeper pocket so you can store the rest of your photos in here if it's not, if there is not enough room in the pages but you still have more pages then you can add that. Okay, that's good. That is good. So yeah. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to decorate the front first. 
Um, I like to use this one, like I promised. And I want to strip. Wait just a second. Let us use a blue strip at the top. Why not? Is that nice? I think that's nice and that fits perfectly. Oops. So I'm gonna start with that little strip at the top. Yes, now I can cut. Oh, this is a perfect, perfect shape. Album, you are in the way. Do I still see it? Yes, I still see it. How a woman can love black and white. I do not know, but I love it. I do. <laughs> okay, let's smooch the edges. And then we can add it on. ready. Now before I glue this down, I actually want something for the back because I know if you're going to put this down, it always bump in the way. So I'm gonna, I want something. Now if I had enough paper, then I would love to put some paper all the way down but yeah we can but you know i like to save papers <sighs> you know me i am crazy i know so what i'm gonna do is i am gonna cut this paper in the right position And believe me, it, it helps. It helps you a lot. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I am going to glue this piece right here. Okay? So it won't get in the way with this bumpy hinge. There we go. Now this needs to be still fits. Yep, it still fits. Cool. Yep, and then this goes under. That is cool. Hmm. I think we already can glue this down, guys. That went pretty, pretty well. Leaving it flat, and I'm gonna burnish this down so it is nicely attached to that white piece. There we go. And now there is nothing interfering if you put something in here. Okay, I'm gonna add this to the album. And then we can add our design paper for the back. Okay, put this 
this on its place and then we have a nice thicker deeper not the thicker a deeper pocket <laughs> okay i'm gonna use a small ruler to burnish that glue down all the way to the bottom That's that, and now I can cut this paper. So you don't have to be all the way. Okay, see how many paper that is saving you. Where is the line? Good lord, I don't see it right here. I hope I have it right. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay, let's check it out. Check it out, check it out. Moment of truth. See how that is easy. It is. It's just thinking forward or having experience <laughs> I do have that experience when you do a hinge on the bottom and not put your paper all the way down then it will get in the way it that 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 little edge from that hinge that will get in the way I promise you that every time when you put something in it it's getting in the way I don't like that we don't want anything to go away. See how nice that is. I have a big pocket. That is cool. With less paper used. Yes, I love that. Also nice to make a nice notebook. Oh, that's nice too. That's cool. I think I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the back because I love pockets and we all want to add loads of things in here. So yeah, that is the meaning of an album. So I'm going to make another nice thick pocket that is perfectly, look at that, look how nice and neat that looks. See? Cool. Yes, and it's deep enough. Plenty of space in here. Yep, I'm going to do that again on the other side. We want that place. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, I am at that point where, okay, I finished my back cover. And it looks like this. Exactly the same as the front, but then I used the flowers for the to minimize, minimize it. And uh, again, the black and white, just how I like it. And now I managed to get the inserts of all. And I do like that these all are going in. But I do like also that there is a tab pointing out so that is also a thing that i like um, now you can glue these all in the middle but you also can use it step step i call that step way well <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to start with the first one and the meaning is that we glue this the halfway and I'm going to use this green one and the Humpty Dumpty. So I'm just going to add the half of this at the end. So the halfway is on top and the halfway is on the back. Okay, then we go to the last one. And here I also have that Humpty Dumpty. Okay. 
Oké. Okay. Dan doen we zo de first en de last one of easy. Easy going. Here we go. Let's see, that is the first and the last one. Now the second one. Place this on top. And see where this is going to be. Just eyeball it for just a moment. Okay. And then the third one. It's going to be again Humpty Dumpty. And I need to eyeball it first. Yes, I know. This is the Scrap Queen way how I like to do it. Now you can use this. I think this way is nicer. Okay. So yeah I can move a bit more to the middle and it doesn't have to be perfect I am not perfect and just eyeball it is this I think it's quite equal so a little bit doesn't have to be perfect I am not perfect I'm just going to apply this. I'm just going to eyeball this. It can be a little lower. You don't want too much out. Okay. Now this is gluing down. So I'm putting this on the one that is gluing down. Okay. Starting all over. Place one on top. Oops. Place one on top. And now we have another green one. And a Humpty Dumpty. And again, do the same thing. I am gonna eyeball this. Place one more. How are they looking? Is this a nice equal? I think it is. So I'm gonna place the middle. Oh, it's nice raining outside. Can you hear that on the back? I love that. Okay, so now there's one loose. A little higher than the rest but for that it's pretty good so okay now for the back I want to use you do not have to do this but I like that I like something on the back I'm going to use this lyrics it's music notes I'm going to use for the back and then when I'm done I am going to distress it a bit so like I said you don't have to do this oh, you don't have to do the back did I just glue that on a green one yes I did <laughs> oh yes I did well that glue is way too fast do I Okay, yeah, me and my brabbling. Well, did you not tell me that? I didn't hear you. If you do, I didn't hear you. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna cut another going one. No trouble at all. Mm. 
No worries, I'm gonna fix it. That means that I have to cut out one green one. And one music. Pretty thin, so I have to cut this down a little more. Stay straight. Okay, now let's see. We have green one. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, the first one needs another music one. Okay, the first and the last. Oh yeah, the second one. <laughs> what are you doing with your time? <laughs> do it all day. Messing things up. <laughs> okay, so now it's done. Done. No way! <laughs> yes, I did it. I glued on the wrong side. Yeah, oh no. <laughs> This is terrible. I know. I ah. Now this is a pretty thick one. Oh my goodness! How dumb can someone be? I think I'm just gonna leave it. Oh no! No, I'm not gonna leave that. No way. How <laughs> you can mess it up? I can. I can mess it up. A lot. This is going to be way really thick, but I don't know. <laughs> this is stupid. I am stupid. <laughs> Glad that I filmed this so you can see how stupid I am. <laughs> I wish there were there were sounds. So I hear you say you I hear you yelling. No, you do it the wrong way. <laughs> Good lord. Well, this tap is definitely strong enough. <laughs> Look at this, how thick this is. <laughs> Let's smooch it away so no one will see. <laughs> no one tells. <laughs> okay. And I'm not gonna do anything else. I will leave this up to the owner if they want something extra. Okay, let's add this to our pages. 
Okay, first one. Here we go. The next one. I hope I do not have made these tabs too wide. I hope not. Now here's that big one. Shh, don't, tell, don't tell anybody. See, it still fits. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. See, nothing is wrong with these pages. Nope, 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 nope. Nothing is wrong with that. Nope, it isn't like this. Cool. <laughs> okay. What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, okay. Yeah, I need to see what else. Well, this is just... Oh, yeah. Here we have a little... A bigger tag. Tab. But I do like to. Okay, so yeah, it's just a matter of finishing up with the papers that we still have. And yeah, we do have quite a few still. So yeah. And we have to do some tags. And oh, we have still plenty to play with. And I have something in mind what I do like to do also. Okay. Oh, and. There is. Perhaps I'm going to do that first. So I can film that for you. This one. I want to do one more. So I promised you that I did that. Let's use... I believe it was this one too. Yes, it was. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that first. Just because it can. And that's just because I feel like doing this first. And then not forgetting this tag. No, I won't. So yeah, we still have plenty to play with. Yes, we have. Okay. The tab, tag. Okay, first I am going to do this together with you. Okay. Okay, let's play. Let's clean up all the bits and pieces that I have. But because we are going to play with the smallest pieces, now you can push this away for just a moment and then we're going to play on this little piece. Now this is just an angle. Not a triangle, but just a little. You will see it better if I glue it down. Right here. Let me see, is this still the perfect size? I hope it is. Yes, it is. Okay, now we can start gluing down all these little pieces, these little pieces, bits and things we can use. All these little tiny ones. We can just begin. Just go all the way around. I'm going to use my pen set. And I'm going to start at the top right here and so I move on let's make one at this corner too okay and just go on and on and when something is a bit too small or big, you can you make it the size you like. Okay, and it does not have to be 
the same size because we go around it like here with a little a little um, I call that a little ruler and it's nice to be a little playful you don't have to be these the same um, the same way the same direction no the same oh my gosh <laughs> the same exactly the same yeah mm -mm. <laughs> i know i'm crazy let's see all these little bits and pieces we can use yeah you can hate it or you can love it you know i love it it's just yeah what do you do with your time <laughs> i play i call this play time oh that was actually a blue one diane you love the blue one This I think is a bit overdoing. Let's dig in. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, we have the flowers. It's also nice. Nice to use. Here and there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is a baby. Oh, it is shorter. And then you can easily cut this off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the back we still can use. this paper why not use it all this is fun yeah you can hate this or yeah you can love it but I love it just take your time with it and go with the flow Cutting pieces here and there. No, I still like this right here. And then. can we do right here let's go up with this one why not oh yeah nice and tight <laughs> and oh yeah a bit blue well we do have enough enough blue let's cut this I think some yellow. Let's see. small I know but 
to mess up a bit with that yellow white here. I'm trying to fix this. And I don't know if this is working, that small bit. I don't like it. Wait just a second. I don't like that piece. I don't like it. Just use this piece. That's better. Oh my gosh, the other way around, you know, this piece you want. Yes, okay, now move this all on the sides. Okay, because now I am gonna grab my black brush and I just go all the way around making a line all the way around yeah, and I still am gonna say you're gonna love this or you're gonna hate this it takes time yes I know but the end result is nice. I think at least. And I saw this on Pinterest and I absolutely love it. Love, love, love it. And you know how crazy I am. I know I'm crazy. Go all the way around every little corner, up and down, left, right, go crazy, especially with me on the background. <laughs> This one is tricky, but we do, we do, just do it, just go all the way around, no big deal what shape it is. Okay, almost there. There we are. Okay, that's that. And then the last thing, I always want to clean my ruler. Now the last thing is to fill this in, of course, with little stripes. See? And where you at that point where you want, you can fill these in with your marker. Just go all the way around and when you feel like you can fill these in. Let's start filling this in, not feeling this in, filling this in. We're not feeling anything. Okay, I have a call, so I have to leave you. Bye bye. Okay, so yeah, that is how we're gonna do this all the way around and this takes this takes a little but you get the picture yes you get the picture okay so yeah i'm gonna leave you right now why is that why i don't get stuck I don't know.
but this takes a bit of time and focusing so but you get the picture I'm just going to all the way around and I see the difference that this one is smaller than this piece but that's no way always and if you it up after you are done of course you're gonna glue this on top here and then you have a nice booklet okay cool hello welcome back well it's really early this morning and I finished up what I ended last night and I put up hello little so yeah that's that's the really the finishing touch yeah and I noticed that on this piece I did make the black and white squares a bit larger but I do like these so yeah do you like these I do I absolutely adore these cute 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 okay so I have a complete mess and I'm gonna clean up that first before I continue because I hate this <laughs> okay and then yeah we still need to cover up this big tag and yeah okay just finishing up and use all the scraps we have <laughs> okay I could not resist I want to make a little notebook for in that album because we made two nice thick deep pockets and I think it will be awesome to make a little diary in a little child's book album so yeah I printed out some pages and let's see so I'm gonna cut these first in half and then I will see which sides I end up okay cool how to make a journal well first of all I made these lines by myself at my computer and I did that with paint take a while but you only have to do one and then you can copy four on one page um, and that I will save on my computer so I will have that as many times as I like so yeah it takes some time but trust me I did this by hand <laughs> on the computer with my program paint and I believe windows do have all have that program paint okay so when I point these out I'm gonna cut these in half and then I'm gonna fold this in half and you can stamp on it if you like Oh, I need to fold it the other way around so I see Humpty Dumpty at first. So just just going to fold this in half, see if you are straight. And I am. Okay. Now you don't have to take care of um, this side just yet because we are going to do that later when everything is perfect now grab a black piece of cardstock fold it in half don't matter if it's not the exactly same size because we're going to do that later okay so I only do this at the bottom and then I grab some columns then I'm gonna push some holes in here with a picker or any word for this piece but make holes in it I'm gonna make four holes so I'm gonna have nice sewing sewing method okay just grabbing some a needle and a twat I'm just gonna start. Okay, going in and then here, and I go back in that first hole and go back, and then I go up the next one, and then I go to the top. Then I go back to this piece right here. Then I go back to the first hole again. 
Okay, and now the last time I go back in. And then I push my needle under that first loop. And that gives me a nice opportunity to make a nice knot. That's that. And then you can cut these down. Take your clamps off. Oh my gosh, my tea is oh, already cold. Now brownish this down so it's nice flat. Now the only bottom is the only side is the bottom, which is nice. Then I'm going in. And I'm taking my ruler and see because the inside is the forest away. So I'm going to cut this at 9. So I'll make, make two marks and then I'll cut this away. to make sure that the top is also a little shorter and nice and even. Okay, just go a few times over it till you are completely at the end and then you have a nice booklet. Okay, so now it's time to decorate and you can do whatever you're gonna like but I do have a little book binder linen left so the black leather look and I'm gonna use that for the side. It gives a nice touch I think. So I'm just grabbing a piece that's a little larger than the journal remove the tape I turn on the soup today <laughs> and I can smell it already mm. going to eyeball the middle doesn't have to be perfect because I am gonna apply some paper okay I'm gonna open it you can use your own scissor but you also can use a scissor that is not sticky little booklets, a nice little notebook and I'm gonna decorate, yay, because we do have plenty left to play with, nice little things and I do have other little things left, so yeah, lots to play with. And the images, yep, cool. <laughs> And then with a little imagination and all your scraps, I created two nice little booklets. Cool. I love this. And with black and the colors, it just do the trick. I love these. Okay, so I can add these in my album. Cool. <laughs> I was thinking about these cards. 
and I always feel that these are a little flimsy and I like that they are a bit more sturdy. So let's see if I fold one and a half. Is it done? Fit. Okay, I'm just going to see how it ends. There was something I want to test out. I have something in mind. Um, of course, this is... Oh, oh, yeah, this fits nice. Okay, let's cut this. If it's a good idea, I don't know, but I like the back, so why not? Um, I truly hope that this will work. Why not cut this piece off? Just going to try it out. So this is the same size as this Humpty Dumpty note thing. Now what if, what if I will cut out this piece right here. And then I glue it on. And then you still see that, and it's on a sturdy booklet. What do you think? I'm just trying things out. You know me, I always think of a way that, <laughs> that I can use everything. Just how I like that. So I'm cutting that frame out. Just trying. I just like to use every single bit. Okay. So if I glue this on here, then we should see this. <laughs> that is cool, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm gonna glue this on. Now I'm gonna watch from the front. The front needs to be good. And then I can flip it back. Oh, yes, it does work perfectly. Ah. Okay, so this is a perfect way to use still <laughs> your card and that nice note. Okay, I need a big applause. <laughs> if I know done, do not do that myself, then nobody does. Okay, cool. Just an idea. So the first thing I like to tell you is the size. The size of this album is nine and a half by six inches, and that is in centimeters, 24 by 15 centimeters. So yeah, it's a landscape model, and the spine is, I believe, three and a half. I believe, yep, it's three and a half, and it's nine centimeters. So yeah, it's, it's pretty big, but yeah, it's still, Doable. It's pretty nice to put pictures in and I love how it turns out. So this is the front and I use the front cover and I mix and matched, cut apart and cover up and yeah, you will see in the tutorial how I did this front. Um, there was a little tuck spot behind here, just a little tag. 
in here. You can write something down on the back when you go and give this to someone if you like. Um, so yeah, and then this is the side, the spine, bedtime story. Added a nice cutout picture, and the back. I used these leftover pieces, and this is also from the front sheet. And now you always can write your name on here when you're gonna give this to someone or when you're gonna use this for your child um, child book or baby book or but yeah it's it's fun so I made a closure with this black and white ribbon and let's open this up and let's go to the front page the in and outside uh, cover I made a nice thick pocket so you can add loads of things in it but I get a little wild <laughs> as always and I made a little uh, notebook so you can write something down and that fits nicely in here I made just a little envelope where you can add something and I covered up an envelope this was the very last thing I did with all my leftovers and but I think I like it you can add a nice image in here and you can add little things in here so it won't get lost okay so that is the first pocket then we go to this page and the first thing I'm gonna say I did use the waterfall double hinge so the pages are pretty flat and um, I'm going to tell you, I did manage, uh, I'm now not, not, not did manage, I did use a few brads in, uh, in the spine, in the hinges. And this is the very, very first time I used that, but yeah, I like it. So it's an extra, extra uh, stability for your pages. So that is, works pretty cool. But let us go first to the first page, simple pocket. I made a few tags in here and this I cut out so you stay see the back of these beautiful cards that is in this paper collection so a few cards a little envelope and then this flips open and I do have on several pages a nice big photo frame with a nice frame with these black and white dots and then in here also two nice photo frames and a little yep, yep. oh my gosh uh. <laughs> there we go and a little tuck spot right here uh, you can add more things in here if you like I just glue the ends of these strips and then this closes all down with just a little photo holder. And in each pocket there is a, uh, a photo mat tag. And I, it was the very, very last sheet that I had. So there was nothing else. <laughs> um, so more I did not do on the inserts. And I have to tell you... How many sheets did I use? I did use 13 sheets of the Graphic 45 Mother Goose. And I believe two, four, let's say five sheets, 12 by 12 black and white papers. Okay, so that is only what I did use. So 13, 18, 19, yeah, 19 papers, 12 by 12 I used. So it's pretty big, but you can use it all. You know me. I did use every single scrap of it. Um, then this page has a nice pocket at the front. And this is uh, with a pocket and a little booklet inside. This is actually an envelope. And then this flips up with a nice photo frame up here. And then here... There is, yeah, actually it's a nice photo frame, but I glue it down, humpty dumpty, but I not glue it all down. So you still can use this as a nice tuck spot or add your photo on the back. Uh, but still you see that humpty dumpty. So that is just a choice. Okay, let's go to the next page. This next page, well, it looks busy and yeah, it actually is busy. 
this method I saw on Instagram a few weeks ago and I tried it out and I loved it because um, yeah you know me I do like black and white and when I saw that on Instagram I thought wow that is cool that fits perfectly in this album with all these black and white strips so that is why I did that um, so I made this little booklet so cool inside is plain there is another one on this side and then another tag right here and a little booklet on here and then these all opens up and then you have a nice big photo frame and I left this black so you can use this for a photo spot or you can write something down in white so that is what this is all and this keeps it a little on its place just a little top spot here and there and then this keeps it a bit together okay and then inside here another big tag okay let's move on to the next page oops that's supposed to be right there so yeah as you see this is the closure for a big waterfall um, I glued down a few white photo mats in here uh, but mostly I left it black because this is going to be thicker when you're adding your photos in here so that is why I kept most things black and here there's just a nice um, cut out was the last thing that I cut out from the first sheet and then this stays all together now in the pack we have a big photo mat which I covered up with uh, some cutouts and a nice image and the back I leave it plain so you can use it for write something down or put a nice big photo on okay let's go to the next page the next page again I made these booklets with that method using little uh, pieces of design paper and made yeah a nice tag this was actually the, the actual design I saw on on uh, Pinterest and uh, Instagram so yeah I just write down hello little think that is cute oh I can put this back in then we have a little um, photo frame swing tab and then this flips up and we have a big photo mat at the top and two photo mats down here and this is not glued down completely so you can shovel your picture underneath and then this goes to here to the right and then we have a nice picture frame on the right and a nice picture frame on the bottom and again I did not glue this completely down so you can tuck your photo under which I did already with a nice photo um, with a nice postcard <laughs> and then in here also a nice big insert so lots of place for photos then we go to the next page this holds down with these two swing tabs this opens up a little photo mat in here and a photo mat here then this goes to the right and in here just two nice little photo frames on each side little tuck spots and here also a nice photo frame and then I believe this flips up too yes <laughs> okay lots of places to put something in there your nice photos and then this flips back okay the next page the next page we have a nice pocket and I added a nice booklet inside then we have another pocket right here and then this flips open and then we have another nice tag from that collection and then this flips back and then this is the stopper and of course a nice insert then we go to the next page this I will move it up a little 
Okay, this page. So we have a nice pocket right here with a nice booklet and a nice insert. And a nice photo frame, but I used already a nice image like that. But you can use the back for writing something down. Then this tag is holding down this string and then this opens up two photo mats on the sides and a nice pocket where you can add something photos in here and then this goes back and you close this down and I thought it would be cute to add a nice tag in here so that will so the string will not go anywhere <laughs> Okay, so let's go to the next page. This next page has a nice pocket on here with a nice little booklet. You can write something down and put a nice photo in with a nice image. Then this is a magnetic closure. You can open it up. And then we have the first page where you can still add your photo on the back here. Same here. I only glued this in the middle. Nice photos in here, another photo frame, and you still can add a nice photo on here. Nice photo frame, this I love making some image with the papers, I love the colors. And these are the primary colors, so I thought that would be perfect. And you see now the black, the black and white papers, they fit perfectly with these uh, beautiful colors. And I love that. I love black and white and bright colors. So that is why I added some black and white papers. Nice photo frame right here. Here you can put a nice photo too. And then this is the last picture. The last photo frame. So yeah, this goes like this. So it's, 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 it's quite... Is it a waterfall? No, not exactly. It's a nice yeah, photo page frame i don't know anyway <laughs> and then here there is a large insert too and then it goes back in here and then we go to the last page almost the last page um here i use that same image and you can flip this down and then you have a nice place for photos and we have still a pocket and on this there was exactly the same thing and this I kept this loose so you still can add your photo underneath okay and then the last page there is again a nice deep pocket where I added again a booklet and you can leave this out if you like a nice booklet also notebook a nice this is a booklet <laughs> and a homemade envelope with a nice card already in it okay and that's that guys I had so much fun making this and um, yeah, I like it. I hope you liked it too. I used this image to cover up a nice um, pocket. Okay, so yeah, what do you think? I like it. It's busy. Yes, I must, con I must confess that too. It's busy, especially these two pages. They are busy, but I still like that, especially with that black and white. I love that. That makes the papers really um, settle down. I don't know the word, but I just like how it all turns out. Plenty of places for photos, like you see. We still have place. That is why I made a three and a half uh, spine. We still have that place. And the pages are still activity enough. So yeah, I think it's a good size and I do like uh, the landscape. Lovely size for, um, for your photos and yeah, I don't know. Do you like this for a baby or for a child? Uh, you can use it in any way you like. So I absolutely love this. First time I used these papers and I must say 
yes, I must admit it. I do love these papers. I always told people I do not like Mother Goose, but yeah, now I do. Now I work with these. Okay, so I used 13 papers, graphic 45, Mother Goose, and I used, yeah, I think five extra black and white papers. Um, so that is what I used. Okay. I hope you liked it. Give me a big thumbs up if you do. If you aren't a subscriber to my channel, then please subscribe and you will get a not notification when I do upload, upload <laughs> a new uh, tutorial or a new project or anything. So please do. Let's join my tutorial. Oh yeah, so okay, of course I made a tutorial of this. Um, so please um, stay tuned for them. Um, so yeah, give me a big thumbs up. <laughs> bye bye. Thanks for watching.